Well, Lori, they say, as far as they know, at this hour, she did not. She has been questioned for several hours and has just now been transferred to the Broward County Juvenile Intake Center for processing as her family and friends struggle to answer the question, why? It's terrible because the girl had a bright future ahead of her. Family friends describe Tia Wimberly as a loner, a tomboy, an honor student, and a member of the school band, but never a hint, neighbors say, of anything like this. No! That's a quiet, that's a quiet girl. She always sitting out here playing her band instruments all the time. The Wimberly family rushing to Fort Lauderdale Police Headquarters after the shooting, where detectives spent hours questioning the 15-year-old. A paralegal hired by the family arriving to begin her defense. Yes, the family contacted us to, to let us know that the daughter was down here, and that's all I can say. Close family friends insisting Tia's never been in any trouble before. There's nothing that would make me believe that she was even capable of anything like this. No idea where that gun might have come from, and no clue on a motive. It makes no sense to me. I, um, I know the family very well, and... Uh, I just can't, I, I can't imagine what happened. The Wimberley family tonight releasing a statement through their attorney. It reads, the family is grieving and in sorrow for the loss of the young girl who died. And uh, with God's help, they say, their daughter and granddaughter will receive help. But, Lori, beyond that, nothing from the family tonight about some of these suggestions that you have heard from classmates that there may have been a romantic connection or at least a desire for one between the shooter or the accused shooter and the victim. All right, Mark Joyella, live force in Fort.